Hello, welcome back. Last time I got the crystal and cupboard, and uh, that was cool. During that process I accidentally paradoxed and was in a place that I thought I hadn't seen before, then I realized later that I totally had. That was just a note-taking failure on my part. I had noted down the paradoxes I had seen and somehow missed this one in that list. Um, let's go ahead and try it again. I took a look at all the things that are open to me and honestly wasn't feeling any of them, so... This is the one I said I'd do, so if it's, uh, if I don't want to do any of them, it might as well be this one. So, uh, get into this chest, move the chest, get out of the chest. Whoa, okay. Um, I'm in it now, the crystal room exists in the other context. This should be pretty easy, right? Oh, yeah, trivial. This is literally all it takes. Done. Alright, so if I'm here... Oh, hold on, okay, so that's trivial. Before I do that... Is there any prospect at all of taking things with me? There are no jar spots anywhere in this puzzle. Which is kind of rare for an Ice Palace thing, because they almost always involve jars, I'm noticing. Uh, okay, so anyway, yeah. The way that I uh, paradoxed there is pretty easy. Take Cauldron in here, switch contexts, go in here, move chest. Switch contexts, exit, exit. Or actually, just one exit. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing standable, no other way to transport anything up here, no jars to break to, uh, you know, and that, that trick already showed up once. So, I think I'm doing this with just whatever is here. Now I can re-paradox, and... Is this the place where I totally broke reality by doing that? I think it's not. I think this is a different place. Alright, so two permanent fans... Two permanent cauldrons. Or no, these are the same room. Right? One permanent fan. Yeah, one permanent fan. Okay. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. My recollection when I tried this before was that I was able to get back up this shelf. But then the fan was down in the pit, so I couldn't do anything about it. I need it twice. Okay, so what if I re-paradox while holding the fan? Oh, I can't re-paradox, though. That would take me nowhere. Can I paradox in the nowhere? Alright, how do I do that one? I need to move, um... Let's see, here's a simple way. I go into this room, I switch, I go into this room, I carry that out, and I switch. I may be able to paradox here. Look at all those green chests. Is this really how this normally looks? Maybe. Three permanent dudes, huh? They're all the same, right? Can I paradox here? I'm not sure that I can. I could maybe have brought a tool with me. Yeah, hold on. Couldn't I have trivially gotten this ruby by bringing the fan in here? Well, if I could bring the fan, maybe. I'm not sure I could have brought the fan. 
Okay, so... Thing is, bringing another tool with me is totally possible because I can... Uh, well, no. If I put one of those down there, I lose access to it. Is there some kind of, like, back and forth here where I can, like... Well, only if I can paradox at all, right where I am. Let's see, sticky items. Uh, first of all... Okay, right. I don't know where that sentence was going. I had a plan when I started speaking. Don't anymore. What happens if I bring you? I can't get into you. You're just stuck there now. And... That doesn't really mean anything in particular. So right, easy way to uh, do stuff. To do things like this. Okay, no, hold on. Can't I bring this chest with me trivially? Yes, but it's stuck down here. Is there some way I can uh, stick it up here and get access to it? I sincerely doubt that. That's not sticking. I guess things don't stick when there's uh, a floor there, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. What's in here? What are those? Could I have left something else in here? Hmm... I am strongly getting the impression that this is about going back and forth between the two thingies. Like, it's real suspicious that there are green chests here. Problem is... I don't know how to do it. If I, okay, let's, um, let's think about the prospect of bringing a cauldron with me. I'll never be returning to here so I can break the stuff in this part of the level all I want. I'll just be going back and forth between black and white. I don't need to bring anything with me into the paradox. That wouldn't accomplish anything because I can't take it along. Well, except I did, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. All right. So... Um, I could also look some more at just, like, doing a basic solve here, but I think my memory of how much I explored there doesn't have any obvious big oversights other than the idea of going back and forth between black and white. So, idea of bringing a cauldron with me. I have to jump into one to go there. The other one has to be in an inaccessible spot, and if it's in my hands... What does it do? Uh, I'm gonna go here. If I'm carrying you, what's the effect? I'll probably pop out of... Uh... Yeah, here. Okay, sure.
And there really isn't anything else I can uh, bring with me, huh? I can bring that chest and that's pretty much it. Well... So this is out there. Hold on, I can bring the blower. Alright. Hmm. Doesn't do anything for me, right? I don't feel like it does. Do these things turn on when they're stuck in a wall? No, of course not. They have to be on the ground. Yeah, I don't see what this does for me. <laughs> Loses me access to that chest. Oh boy. the screen, meaning I'd probably paradox if I could somehow exit from it, but that's not something I can do. Three of these chests. see it. Alright. So, let me go ahead and just explore the, uh, the conventional way of doing things. Just so I am fresh on the possibilities of that. So, to get to that diamond I need the fan here. Or down there would be fine, which does make me suspicious. All right. The fan is in here. And I can trade a cauldron for it. Kinda. Once I've made that jump, I've committed to some stuff. Like, what does that do for me? It just gets the fan stuck down there. Yeah, okay. So, conventional way dead ends very quickly. There are things I can do, like... Put this chest in here, use it to transport the cauldron up. And then... Be stuck forever. What if I... Is there stuff I can do with the blower to put the... Like, something gets sacrificed in there, right? Something is down in this pit. here. Hmm. 
Why are these cauldrons permanent? So I can go nowhere, sure. Is that all there is to it? So I can have both of these here if I want. Am I jumping down into that pit? Okay, so, so this is a top-level room. I can't re-enter this from anywhere. It's just this is the only instance that's here. The two objects that were in this room started down here. It really feels like I want to re-paradox, but I don't know how to. Could I... Like, once I go nowhere, I'm just stuck there. In the Paradox, I can go nowhere. In the Nowhere, I cannot Paradox, as far as I know. I can probably... Definitely go there from here. That's actually pretty easy to do. That's actually completely trivial to do. Wow, that's even easier than the Paradox. Both of which are pretty easy. Alright, so that takes me straight here. Opening up the possibility of carrying other things from that world into here. Alright, let's say I took the crystal room. Crystal room is with me now. It has a green chest in it, and I can maybe paradox with just these two items after having been here? Meaning that I set up paradoxability in here for later use so I can re-paradox, but that puts me down here. If the blower was with me, I could transport this chest up there. Yeah, okay, so having set up uh, an object here that I can use... Um, how does this let me... What's, what's in you? That... Oh, it's this room. Uh... What if I did this a little differently? Instead of carrying this out, let's carry it in. Before I get access to it when I... Oh, well, I... Uh, that's fine. Is it? Wait, where am I? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is getting interesting. So that's access to a cauldron. Does this go anywhere? <laughs> Back to the real world. Huh. And then I re nowhere -ed. Oh, that's weird. Why did that happen? Okay, that seemed useful, though. I think things are happening here. So I carry this in. Put it here. Exit, exit. I might as well just carry this directly. Or do I want the... Let's take the other one. Maybe that's more useful. Because I can have the, the outer chest. You know, more resources. So I can unpack this if I want. And I can unpack this if I want. I might even be able to get at that chest down there, but I don't think I want, right? Like, this is not... It's got a key. Who wants a key? Uh, but it's another room, you know, in case I need another of those. I think I have enough. Do I now? Do I have a plan here? No. Um, but I got these two permanent objects here. 
If I paradox now, and then return to this area with the fan. Okay, yeah, so I vaguely almost have a plan. No, not really. <laughs> I almost have a, a next action that I can take. So I want, if I want a paradox. So I can switch contexts with you now. But when I switch back, it just re nowheres me. And I don't actually understand that. So I switch here. I switch back, and that happens. Okay, so what I desire is a paradox. Therefore, you would need... Okay, so this contains one of those. I still have a lot of my stuff. I don't have the crystal chest anymore. Is that important? I'm not sure. I need things here at the top level to, to have this setup mean anything. Okay, so the whole way that I can jump in here and jump in here sets up transport back down here. If I could get this cauldron up there, I could move some of those chests down to this level. And surely, together with this thing, I could find a way to paradox. Okay, so I want the fan here. Still just means I need to paradox again. So, if I'm in this, I then need to move it. If I'm in it from here, nothing can happen. Okay, so let me focus on... Can I pull this out? Sure. I think so. So this is getting weird. I'm glad I'm doing this directly after Cupboard. I didn't realize it would use Cupboard's geometry so much. I bring this here, I bring this here, now I have one of these, all right? And I can do that again if I want. I do want, so I'm gonna. Oh, right, but I only get one, of course. All right, is one enough? So you contain the key room. I could have the crystal room. It wouldn't have been any better. Would it mean anything to keep one of these over here? And like... Put this into this spot. I don't think so. I don't have anything, but I can get something. Yeah, this is a weird case where the cauldron is not safe storage. I lose it. Can't take the cauldron with me. There's no room resetting there. Can't go in here and get it. I can go in there and get the that cauldron back. Okay, so at the very least, that's how I return you back to the top level, trivially. You contain this room. I think I can paradox here, but I think it loses me a lot of stuff. But if I can keep like one resource here, then that could be a way to bootstrap something. All right, let me just leave the cauldron alone. Enter. I can do it, yeah, okay, here we go. This paradoxes me. Enter, 
enter, carry out, exit, exit. So I paradoxed from nowhere that Cauldron is there now in the, uh, the place. All right. So could I repeat those steps? I think so. They weren't too complicated once I knew what I was trying to do. Next step. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Next step, I want to get the fan to the nowhere world. Yes, I believe that's correct. To do that, I... Take this in here. And then what do I do with it? So to just read nowhere, I would take you out and then jump in that cauldron. So when I jump in that cauldron, yeah, I'm not really going to need you anymore if I can pull this off the way I want to. Yeah, okay. I think, like, if I'm imagining the end state of this correctly, I don't know if I've set up all the steps I need to make this happen, but I think I, if I have, and I'm picturing this right, then I'm actually close to the end already. So if I can read nowhere from here... That's great. I'm moving you upwards. This seems good. Okay. That blower can stay there. I'll take the cauldron. This is my way back down. So now I can transport these chests downward. This is fascinating. Oops, I don't want to be in here. You along with me. And I might have to do this a few times, which is fine. I don't lose anything for doing it a few times. All right. This is so cool. Wow. There was like so much more puzzle here in this puzzle. This one has a lot in it. Why do I want multiple ones of these down here? I'm not sure. And just to get all my resources in one place. I can't do that. So this amount of resources will have to do. I think this might be not enough. Okay, so I'm gonna transport the cauldron down. Here's how I do that. Uh, easily. I'm not gonna need all three of these chests down there. Pretty sure of that. Okay, so Cauldron's been transported because it's in here. Now I want to Paradox. While holding the blower. Yeah, I think I'm basically done here. Alright, so blower comes in. This could get me the ruby a weird alternate way. Wait, how's this gonna work? I still have the Paradox. I think I have a way to do that. I'll put one of these inside the other. Get the cauldron in here too. That won't work. I need something else. Okay, so if I... Alright, so... I still have access to everything. Doing this. Here, you hang out with the blower. Just don't get blown up. I need another resource here. And that can be this chest, maybe. 
Okay. So I'm inside this. There's some, some serious juggling that needs to happen. I really don't want to accidentally exit right now. Um, yeah, I don't like the threat of doing that. Okay, so I'll try... Uh, oof. What do I want? I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. First of all, I want to enter that chest over there while holding uh, this. I've entered the chest. I think I'm short one of those green chests. I need the other one, don't I? I don't think I can have the other one. So there's one just stuck sort of up on the top level of... Hold on, wait, what's the problem here? I'm in the room with this. I just dump it in there. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. This is good. <laughs> ah. Exit, holding this, and the diamond's mine. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Whoa. That was, uh... Huh? <laughs> um... Well, I did it. What did I do? <laughs> this is one of those when it's like, I saw individual steps. I saw what they were leading to, but once I pulled it off, I... What did I do? <laughs> so first, I observed the interconnectedness of the nowhere and the paradox. Then I saw there was that pit at the start of the paradox that if I could re-paradox while holding the fan, I could get up. Then I saw there was no way to re-paradox from the paradox. But I saw that I could nowhere from it. I went to the nowhere, I saw it had green chests. And the rest was just shuffling permanent objects around. I don't quite understand... So I guess... I guess the reason that jumping into... This cauldron... Uh, jumping into this cauldron here... Put me back in the white zone... Whenever this one was already in the white zone... Is one I'm not sure I fully understand? Like, this... I guess this room is marked as being just on the outside, and you can't transition from the outside to a place on the inside with, with bidirectional travel. I guess? Like, I would have thought it would set... this cauldron as my departure point in, you know, the room ID that is the white fluffy entrance to the, the nowhere here. And th it would go both ways. But instead it reset every time I went into the cauldron. Yeah, I observed this before, that's right. I had that one spot of broken reality in, uh... Where even was that? I forget, but I, I had a cauldron that I could just repeatedly jump into and it would take me... nowhere always. Or no, re-paradox to the same point or something? Well, it wouldn't have been a cauldron then. Okay, well, I did it and I understood parts of what I did, and... I understood enough parts to accomplish the goal, I guess. Hey, that's the only one with, uh, three things in it. Because Switch doesn't have any, uh, diamond in it. Alright, well, that's cool. So, there's, uh... Deficient Paradox, which I've never seen. Cell Paradox, which I've never seen. And Share Paradox, which I've never seen. I don't know how to access any of these. I think all three of them involve pinching a chest in a door. This one definitely does. Uh, I can't make a broken jar because there was no oobleck. There was a jar spot, but it's for the same room, and I can't use it for that. Yeah, this one just has doors. The, this was a single room puzzle. There aren't any uh, other things in here, right? That takes me there. 
And that takes me there. This was one of those puzzles I felt like I didn't understand at all what I did when I got the crystal. Uh, and where's the permanent thing in here? Must be on this side. It's you. You might not involve pinching in a door. But I just don't know anything about you. Like, I haven't investigated this paradox at all. Alright. So cool. That's everything that's left on the outside. Do I want to get the outside done before I work on the inside? Yeah, probably. That seems reasonable. Okay, so next time maybe I'll just spend some time learning to access these. But I mean, I'll probably try to solve the first one I access and just see what happens. Sounds reasonable. Alright, see you then for that.